In previous videos we have started our lure design. We have worked with profile tab, bend tab and components. And now we are heading to carving. It's about to add surface details to your lure. And these details are not limited to carving like you would do with your knife to a wooden lure blank. You can also raise up some details. If you do not have any uh, carving texture in your template that you have used, you can add one by clicking this plus sign and it takes you to the texture library. You can see similar categories as you have in component library. At the moment we have here different kind of scales, gills and heads, lateral lines, and then custom textures which would be your own private library. So some of our users, they have their own pattern, something that it's um, very typical for them, or they have asked us to model something. And those are placed into the custom textures uh, library. Let's start with some simple scale pattern. I click it active, same way as in component library and then click Add Texture. And as you can see from 3D view, scales are now added all over the lure. And you can see that there is a seam in uh, back of the lure and also in the belly. Now, this looks already pretty nice for my bike lure, but I can also drag this uh, pattern so you can see always in the 3D view this kind of a preview that how that would look like. If you have some detail that you want the scales to be aligned with some shape or whatever, you can do this kind of uh, alignment. You can also rotate the pattern same way as you can rotate components and see the rotation angle over here. I reset that to zero. If you're unhappy to the pattern uh, size, you can change it over here. So if I would like to have a little bit bigger scales, I could do like this. If I would like to uh, do a little bit different portions for the scale, I could unlock and then set different values here. And you can see that the scale then uh, changes it, its shape. Now, if you're doing hard plastic lure, you might consider again draft angles. And here in this case, I wouldn't like the back of the lure or belly of the lure to have scales. And to avoid that, we have here two different kinds of masks. You can add fill mask, which uh, makes a border to that area where you want the scales to be applied or you can make a hole mask, which would be perhaps needed for the head area if you want to, to have like a smooth gill plate for your lure. I will add first fill mask. I click here and then I go into the side profile and start to click to the border of the area which I want to be covered by gills. I will do this roughly in the beginning and when I'm finished I right click. I click with my middle finger and it closes the loop that I have made. As you can see, you can see quite sharp angles in this uh, area or in the border of the area. But when you look to the 3D view, uh, those corners are smoothed. It's a benefit, but it can also be a little bit annoying if you want to do very precise work with your texture pattern. Already looking pretty decent. I can always go back to the mask area and I can drag these control points with my index finger. Let's say that this gill area looks a little bit, little bit weird. So, and then I can also add new mask points afterwards. So to make this more precise, 
and also remove them. So active mask point is here yellow. If I click remove mask point, it disappears. I will refine this a bit. And you can see that a 3D view sometimes it doesn't follow all the instructions. It, it, there is a delay until it's um, refreshed. I'm pretty happy happy with this mask area. At least this is lots, lots faster than if you would be doing carving with your knife. And as you can see as default the pattern is uh, replicated to both sides of the lure same way so they are mirrored. I will add also another pattern into my lure. I click this area over here and here I get the command add texture and I go to gills and heads and I will use the speckled trout head. I click it active, click add texture and as default it positions it into a bit wrong place so I just grab to the middle uh, control node with my index finger and drag the pattern forward. And now in 3D view, you can see that the pattern is a little bit too small for my project. So I will change its size. Let's try 40 millimeters. It's already looking slightly better. And if you have very precise project, you can always add, uh, ask our assistance. We can model and, and uh, edit these patterns for you. It of course costs a little bit and, and uh, takes some of our time, but it's definitely possible. Now I need to play around a little bit with this so I can get also this um, eye cavity to look slightly better and I'm following here especially the mouth of the mouth of the pattern that I would get it look proper it needs to be perhaps slightly here on the back this is not the best possible mechanism let me do this a little bit shorter Our other alternative would be that I would be moving the side fin a bit backwards but for practicing reasons I think I'm quite happy with this. Sometimes you will get uh, weird edges just to the border of the pattern and you can avoid them a little bit by um, uh, making fill or hole masks uh, to the pattern so that also smoothens that up. I'm pretty satisfied so I will save my lure. If you are not happy to some pattern you can always go here and click this button over here and it removes uh, the pattern from the project. You can also change the order how these patterns are displayed uh, with these arrows and sometimes you will get better results uh, so you just need to play around with them a little bit. Uh, if you paid attention, you can also notice that th this carving pattern it's not added to components. So side fins, tail fins, eye cavities, they remain untouched. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you possibly in next video.